So people will say, if you don't like Britain, why don't you go and live in a place like Saudi Arabia? How, what should our response be to that? I gladly would do once we overthrow the puppets, the royal family that don't belong and have no rights in the Saudi Saudi country in the first place. They've been put there by, you know, the Western governments, mainly America and Britain. Um, they they play a major role in Saudi Arabia, and let's not forget it was that homosexual Lawrence of Arabia that allowed them to establish their throne over the believing people and over the poor people. Um, these people were an evil regime. They don't believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They are the brothers of the shaitan. And the royal family needs to be overthrown. So once this has been established, then, you know, you want us out of, our, out of your country. We will gladly leave. But when we leave, we leave in a peaceful manner. Not that when we leave, you decide to still ram democracy down our throat. We don't want democracy. We want the rule of Sharia. And that is part of being a Muslim, so then we can trade in a way that, uh, again, that we are being influenced, uh, we have influence over the trade, working trade, and etc. that we can have with the West. There's no problem with that. We can trade with the West, but we cannot work with puppet governments in our Muslim lands that have been put there by the West in the first place. They need to be overthrown and we need to establish Sharia. <coughs> Okay, people say that despite all of the calamities that the Muslim Ummah faces, they should put their faith in Muslim rulers in managing the affairs of the Muslim Ummah. Oh, these Muslim rulers are doing very, very good at the moment, haven't they? They've done ever so well. I mean, when we look at the state of, of Syria, um, Bashar Assad, I mean, he's a shaitan. Um, what rights has he given to his people? What rights did Saddam Hussein give to his people? What rights did Gaddafi give to his people? What right does uh, King Abdullah of Jordan give to his people? What rights does uh, King Abdullah give in Saudi Arabia to his people? While him and his 5,000 princes, you know, they can come backwards and forwards to this country and, you know, a lot of them go to the casinos and lose £5 million pound in, you know, basically 10 minutes and walk out with two prostitutes. This isn't, this isn't exactly what you call any, um, a, a believing person. So these people are oppressors of their, their, their fellow countrymen. The oil resources belong to all the Muslims in that country, not the Saudi royal family. Uh, every Muslim has entitlement to, to, to the wealth in every Muslim country and, and the reality is is for us to establish you know proper Sharia is, is total removement of these um, apostate leaders because none of them are on, on, on uh, Tawheed or, or wanting to implement Sharia and, and if they did we would actually have a country that implements Sharia there's no country no Islamic country that has Sharia at the moment so we need to um, basically uh, overthrow these um, apostate governments and, and put uh, real people in the that love Allah and his Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that would implement Sharia and give people their rights.